hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome welcome today i'm going to show you how to get this fall look that i created and this is a collaboration video with um, miss april athena seven click here to check out her video she is doing a stitch fix haul i love stitch fix i actually have a ton of clothes from stitch fix this shirt that i'm wearing is from stitch fix did i do it on purpose absolutely this is what the back of the shirt looks like all this lace i love lace i've been with them for uh several months so if you want to see what stitch fix is all about please go check out April's uh, video, um, subscribe to her channel. She's such a sweet person. Um, I love her and her family and they're expanding. Now she's about to have two precious lambs. That's what I call kids by the way. They also have a vlogging channel. So again, all her channels and everywhere you can find her, not as if you don't know who she is, but just in case there are some people who don't know who she is, and all her channels and everywhere you can keep in touch with her as far as social media they're all going to be in the description box below so without further ado we are going to go right into the tutorial and again this is the look that i came up with um it's really easy don't be intimidated by all this color it really really is simple i'm just going to break it down for you so keep watching okay so let's get started um since this is a fall look my skin has a tendency to be very very dry um, during fall or winter seasons and I am a person who um, suffers from oily skin and I say suffers because I just feel like oily skin is the worst um, what I'm going to use as my face primer this is by Too Faced this is the Hangover RX replenishing face primer um, and this is a moisturizing face primer which is why I'm going to use it because my skin is like stupid dry to my face oh it gets dry up in here my nose and even like in here but I'm just going to even it out I love the smell I think it has like coconut coconut oil or something oh it gets dry around here too my eyebrows does anybody else have like extra like do their eyebrows get like extra dry around like you know the upper part of your eyebrows am i doing the most while i let that settle into my skin the next thing i'm going to work on is my eyebrows so i'm going to go in with the brow wiz uh, by anastasia the really hills brow wiz and i have the color dark brown you've seen it before or you know just a little more on the natural side or sometimes i'll use this um and the brow gel just gonna fill them in. I just pluck them. Oh my gosh, look at my forehead. It's like red right here. I don't know what's going on with my face. It's doing it's doing what it wants to do. So now I'm just going to do the other side. fairly quickly and take my little spoolie on the other end and just kind of blend it out to make it look even more natural or to, you know just to spread out the product so it's not just sitting in one spot so the next thing I'm going to do is sculpt my eyebrows and I'm going to use this morphe brush this is the morphe M. 342. Do you see it? I know you see it. Okay, so I'm gonna use this brush and my studio finish that my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW35 and I'm going to sculpt my eyebrows to make them look better. speed this part up I don't want to bore you with my eyebrow uh, sculpting -ness. all right so my memory card decided it was going to be a little extra and I had to change it but anyhow who cares you don't care um, <laughs> anyways um, now that I got my eyebrows kind of like where I want them I'm going to go ahead and take the clear brow gel 
on the side see that really helps i don't show you that up close and just apply that to my eyebrows because they're gonna make them stay like that especially this end where the hair was like sticking out all right so now i'm gonna go into my foundation this is a new foundation um that i have i think it's the right color this is by Clinique. This is the Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This is what it looks like. Okay. And I got it in the color 21 Cream Caramel. So I'm going to apply this to my face all over. It smells different. Okay. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Normally when I know I'm going to use colors that like to like to fall out i'll do foundation last but i don't feel like doing that today this is one of those videos where you want to film something you don't necessarily know what look you're going for but you want to film and so therefore you film you get my drift <laughs> so i'm not going to take my um my beauty blender and i'm just going to blend that in like that i think it's a good match Be careful around my baby hair baby hair gang so now i'm gonna highlight um i'm using the naked skin weightless complete coverage concealer and this is in the color medium neutral there we go later i'm just gonna place this um around the areas that i would tend to um highlight i don't necessarily always highlight like you know down the bridge of my nose just because I have textured skin and I kind of feel like um, I don't know stuff tends to or makeup products tend to show up on my skin a little more harsh than most people because I do have textured skin so now I'm gonna take my beauty blender again and just blend this out okay this is kind of working out Again, this doesn't look too bad. It, look, it could be worse. So now that I have all of this blended out like I want to, I'm gonna take my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. That's what that looks like. So I'm gonna add a generous, generous. <laughs> I'm gonna add a generous amount in the areas that I just um, highlighted. And I'm going to let this sit here and bake. crazy um the, the good thing about leaving this um like a, a good amount on my face especially under my eyes is that when i apply my um my eye makeup it's going to catch any fallout i'm going to apply my powder this is by nyx this is the matte bronzer in deep tan this is this is what the container looks like so i'm going to take this and my morphe e4 brush which looks like that. Off my face. Again, trying to not jack up my baby hair. I worked hard on my baby hair. Like, I worked hard for them. So I'm really trying to not, you know, mess them up completely. I still think I need to find a darker one, but this one, you know, it's pretty good. I swear this side never matches the other side. I really try. I'm not a big nose contour person because, again, textured skin. There's just some things that, you know, it doesn't really work well. But I am going to lightly because this stuff, I feel like it just, it can go one way or the other. Like that. So for my base, I'm going to use the Kat Von D High Voltage Primer. I actually love this stuff. I love this primer. Apply that onto the lid. A little goes a long way with this stuff. Ugh, 
It's hard to like get in the corner with these nails. And they're not even that long, but it's still like a struggle. All right. <clears throat> so I need, I need a transition color. So let me try to find one. Ooh, I am gonna use this brush though. is like on my eye. Okay, let me stop. <clears throat> focus, focus. I can't focus if something's like in my eye. All right, I'm going into my Morphe 350 palette. This is like one of the most popular palettes and it's sold out and I'm really surprised I got my hands on it anyway. I'm gonna use this brown right here. This is the brush that came with one of my palettes. Um, one of my, um, <clears throat> what's it called? <sighs> this is from my um, Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. There we go. But anyways, I'm, just, I'm gonna take that brown and apply that into my crease. As you can see, it's very pigmented. So this is gonna be my transition color. And now the other side. So after that, I'm gonna go into my Nubian 2 palette, but this is by Juvia's Place. It's this palette. Nope, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Changed my mind. I'm gonna take the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. And this is the Morphe M209 brush. And I'm gonna take the color, it's called Calabar. All right. And it's this color right here. It's like a burgundy color. All right, so I'm gonna concentrate this here. I'm tapping it or pressing it into my eyelid, but I'm also uh, pressing it into the crease area so that it kind of blends or it feathers out basically. So it's more concentrated here and then I'm feathering it up into that transition color. And this just helps me blend it. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side mostly concentrated here. After I have that blended like I want, now I'm gonna go back to the Nubian 2 palette and I'm gonna use this color called Ya. It's like a bronze color, but uh, it's this color here on the outer corner tapped off too much. Now the other side. Watch it show up better on this side. But we got to blend the lines together, that's fine. <laughs> now I'm gonna take Kenya and it's just this matte dark brown color here. So I'm kind of like placing this where I placed the um, the transition color, but I'm trying to not cover up the bronze color too much. Does that make sense? Other side. Now, I need a highlight color. I'm gonna take my Morphe R38 brush. Looks like this, and I'm gonna take a highlight color. This is a very old palette. I don't think anyone's gonna be able to find this, but this is by The Balm, and it's it looks like this. It's called The Balm and the Beautiful. I'm gonna take this color called The Neighbor here. I think this really gives it a pop. 
I'm gonna put it here. For a pop of color on the lower lash line. Back to this palette, I'm gonna take this color called Egypt. Um, this green color down here. And this is what I'm gonna put on the bottom um, or my lower lash line. I kind of feel like I need something to like pop. Oh, I didn't tell you what brush I'm using. <laughs> For this, I'm using the Morphe E36 brush. Okay, there we go. It's just a little tiny brush. It's eight o'clock. Oh, thank you. For my eyeliner, I don't know if I want to use this or not. This is something that I got on one of my subscriptions. This is by Ico. Oh, I love Ico. Ico has some of the best eyeliners. I do liquid eyeliner. I don't know. That's what it looks like. It's doing its thing. Now that that is on, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take this stuff from under my eyes because I look crazy. I'm just going to take any brush and kind of brush off the setting powder in under my eyes where the fallout clearly fell. All right, this is eyeliner from ColourPop. This is just our cream gel eyeliner and I'm going to put this, I don't think I can do this on camera. I'm going to put this on my waterline. I'm gonna do that off camera. So <laughs> my eyebrows were just not doing it for me. So I just went ahead and used my my dip brow pomade and chocolate and just made them look a little more intense because I kind of felt like they weren't popping enough. So I just went and darkened that. And as you can see, I put the eyeliner on my waterline. So now I'm just gonna add mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm just going to apply that. So I am going to apply false A's because I need a little more va va boom. Um, I'm going to use the Kiss True Volume and Ritzy. Okay, these are what these look like. I am going to apply them off camera because I am the worst when it comes to, I don't know what it is about applying it in front of the camera, but I just, it doesn't come out right. So I'm going to apply my false lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm only laughing because it literally took a minute for me to get the eyelashes on because one eyelash decided that it was gonna do whatever it wanted. They're on, I'm just gonna wait till they dry a little bit so I can put the eyeliner on top of that so that the glue is not peeking through. So now I'm going to apply my lipstick. I really didn't know what kind, what color lipstick I really wanted to do because you know there is so much drama going on with the eyes but I still like this color and I'm just gonna rock it. This is L'Oreal's um, color Zoe's red. It looks like it looks like this. It's like a vampy burgundy red. Okay. Now the only thing to do really is just to add a blush. This is my favorite blush. I use this for everything. I'm just gonna go with, this is a uh, Wet n Wild Heather, Heather Silk. And this is basically like my go-to blush. So I'm just gonna apply that here, the apples. See, I told you this was an easy look. It's really not that hard. Okay, so after applying the blush, this look is complete. Make sure you thumb this video up if you did enjoy it. Again, make sure you head over to April's channel so you can check out her video. I'll have a link in the description box below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.